Good day, this is JNN Weekday News. I'm Lefane Wigan. Here now are the top stories. Education Minister Ronald Thwaites has indicated that he will not be rushed into taking action in response to claims of poor governance at the University of Technology, UTEC. At an emergency meeting yesterday, three unions representing staff at UTEC gave the minister seven days to address the matter. The unions, which represent academic, administrative, technical and ancillary personnel, pointed to what they said was the failure of the governing bodies of the university to take appropriate action. The education minister responded saying due process must be followed and urged the unions to take a non-confrontational approach to the matter. Flow Operators Columbus Communications has reported that vandals have again caused disruption in telecommunication services for residents and businesses in Twickenham Park and surrounding areas. The company says in the most recent incident, severe damage was done to the fiber optic network at two separate points along Mandela Highway. Columbus Communication says at one location, the criminals accessed and cut the aerial fiber optic cable and at the other location, they damaged the underground cables. The company added that this network delivers internet, cable TV, and telephone services to communities in and around Spanish Town, Portmore, and White Marl, where a number of manufacturing firms are situated. The company said yesterday that service had been restored to all customers, except for those receiving internet service in Caymanas Estate, which it said had hoped to have back by the end of today. Columbus Communications has repeated the offer of a reward for $100,000 to anyone who provides information leading to the capture and conviction of persons who are guilty of the acts of vandalism. A bill seeking to introduce a flexible work week is to be tabled in Parliament next week after years of ongoing discussions. This was announced by Minister of Labour and Social Security Derek Keller during a tour of the Caribbean Cement Company Limited's Rockford plant yesterday. Keller says the flexible work bill forms part of the government's efforts to boost the country's productivity levels. Discussions surrounding flexible work arrangements have been ongoing for 18 years. The term refers to a variable work schedule and incorporates flexi time. Flexi time allows the worker and employer the opportunity to arrange the traditional 40 hour work week based on their needs. Kellyer notes that among the benefits for Jamaica are increased employment as persons exploit part time work, increased productivity, and more time for family and personal interests. In regional news, at least one Bayesian minister is convinced that the country needs a rapid boost in its population from 189,000 to 325,000 people. Education Minister in the Barbadian government, Ronald Jones, wants this goal to be accomplished within 10 years. And if it cannot be accomplished simply by a jump in the birth rate, he wants a selective increase in the number of migrants accepted into the country. According to the Barbados Nation newspaper, Jones, who was speaking in the budget debate on par in Parliament on Wednesday, made a case for a larger population so that local businesses could have access to a more diverse consumer base. And those were the headlines for this hour. You can watch our live stream at jamaicanewsnetwork.com. I'm Lefane Wigan, and this is JNN News Worth Watching.